हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस पार्टिकुलर वीडियो दिस इज आवर डेटा साइंस प्रोजेक्ट टेम्पलेट सीरीज दिस इज द पार्ट टू एंड इन दिस वीडियो डेट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सेटअप डॉट पी आई फाइल बट बिफोर दिस वन लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो डेट वी हैव क्रिएटेड सम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट सम ऑफ द फाइल्स इंपॉर्टेंट फाइल वेन एवर वी आर यू आर मेकिंग एनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट First, you can do the little bit modification in this file. First type of modification. So as you can see here, I have created the one SRC file. Okay, this is the like spelling mistake. I have written SCR, but this is the SRC file. Under this SRC file, I have a regression folder. It means I am going to work on the regression project. Let's say if you are working on any classification projects or any other projects. So this is the simple project file name that we have. So you can do the changes. First changes. Second, what you can do under this file. Let's say if you can do the training testing evaluation model training each and everything so you can create a training file testing file testing.py model evaluation.py so all those necessary file you can create under the regression file okay so based on your project you can do the little bit modification in this template okay now let me push this data first of all on github and then we can continue our setup.py file discussion so what i can do let me push it, this data on github first so for this one i'm just going to write git add git commit hyphen m template file completed so data coming here now i'm going to write git push origin main So it will take few seconds to push our all those data from local system to GitHub. Now, as you can see, the all the data are pushed here in this GitHub repo. Okay. Now this part is completed. So now let's try to understand the setup dot py file first. So as you can see, this is the empty folder that we have. So I have searched on Google. So let's first of all try to understand the Google definition. So setup dot py. So setup dot py script is meant to install your package on the individual system. Not to prepare the development environment as a pip install hyphen r requirement dot txt. So this is the Python documentation that we have. So what you can see here, this is the setup file that we have. Under the setup file name, what name? So project name. As you can see in our project that we have written here, regression. So here you can mention the regression, whatever the project that we have version, one point zero. It means we are going to release our first version. Whenever we are working on any types of project, we are Releasing multiple version, first version again in a second version we are going to do the little bit modification and then we can release our second version. So as you can see, I have searched a NumPy. So in the NumPy, as you can see, this is the 1.23.4 version that we have. Okay. So same thing you can define the version, which version that you are going to release. After that, project description, then author name. So under the author name you can mention your name or you can mention the company name if you are working on the company project now author email id so whatever the email that you have associated with the gmail the same id you can put it down here now url so project url you can put it down here package whatever the necessary package that we have okay so each and everything you can mention it under the setup.py file now let's start writing a code but before this one let's let me show you one thing so let's say this is the project file that we have i have created now i want a little bit modification here first modification i want i want to add something some file here so requirements dot dev dot txt file i want to create second let me write it down some requirements here so i want requirement like numpy pandas notebook matplotlib these are the requirement that i want now what i can do let me close my camera so that you can see my terminal so what i can do here i'm just going to run again our template file so python template dot py now as you can see the magic here regression i'm going to put it down the project name whatever the project name that we have here the same project name i'm going to put it down so regression and as you can see here under this requirement.txt file is already present it means apart from this whatever the file that we have it's created a new file 
it means whatever the thing that you have written down under this file apart from those file all the files are changes here even the new file that we have created requirement.txt as you can see new file created requirement.txt for path requirement.txt okay this file is not changed because we have mentioned some of the requirements here okay right now we are not going to install anything here i will show you how you can install your requirement.txt using a init.setup init underscore setup.sh okay because we are following the industry standard here so the same way i will show you here but before this one let's try to write it down the setup.py file so for this one first of all i want a library from setup tools setup tools import what i want to import a setup now i want to open my readme file so somewhere that i have created a readme file no readme file is not created i thought so readme file is not there so what i can do let's try to create a readme file okay so i'm just going to write it down here let me it will create here so manually i'm going to create what you can do from your end you can just write it down here okay or here i'm going to create it from here no issue readme dot md and let me run this file again let's do comma and because i want to read the file so that's why i'm going to write it down this one regression now readme file that we will get somewhere yeah this is the readme file that we have now let's write the setup.py file so setup that we have imported now with open i'm going to open the readme.md file so readme.md and in r mode i'm going to open then encoding whatever the thing that we have under this one utf it i'm going to define here h if uh, space i want to put it down here then i'm going to mention a description here so whatever the long description that we can mention under this readme.md file because under this readme file we can define the some of the description right so that's why i'm going to read it here so long description equal to if dot read i'm going to read this file fine now this one is completed now what i can do i want something before defining a setup file before defining a setup file i want something what i want let me show you here first so let's first of all define the name as you can see in our here first we want a name right so i'm going to define a name here under this name what i can write i can write it down anything whatever i want so let's say src file that we have here this is the str file that we have so the same file i need to mention here because i did not want to change anything so that's why or what i can do let me change it out here src i want to put it down this one again but no issue is fine regression now you can see this file okay so again i got the two things src little bit spelling mistake but no issue okay so multiple file i got it but what i can do let me delete it this file so i did not want this file as well so i'm going to delete this one again okay now we have a src file okay so this file is not deleted so let me delete it again okay now this file is deleted so, this, so we have a src file now so what i can do src i'm going to define and no i did not want to define here because next time if i want to change so same thing again and again i can change it so it's better we can define somewhere else so i'm going to define here src repo name whatever the project name that you have so you can define here so under this string and the same thing whatever the thing that we have here we are just storing in some of the variable okay so you can define here or you can define here doesn't matter okay so first name that we have defined second as you can see in our documentation that we have version so now we are going to define the version here so after setup i want a version right so version 
which version that I am going to release first definitely 0. 0.1 this is the first version that we have now author name author so author name we can put it down our name whatever the github name that you have github profile name so my github profile name is shivan i 118 this is the github profile name that we have so you can put it down the same name so i can mention here shivan 118 no we cannot mention here it's better you can mention it out these things here so i'm going to create author and make sure these things you can mention in a capital letter here if you are going to mention here okay so author username equal to what so this one shivan 118 and the same thing same variable you can define here now it's fine okay now third i want a description so again description so description we can mention this is our this is our first release okay this is our you can write it down any description doesn't matter now long description i want to define so long description equal to long description okay now long description now what i want next next i want as you can see here the url url of the projects okay so i'm going to define a url url equal to what if a string and whatever the project url that you have so first let me copy this one github.com and then i will show you if a string here i'm going to define github.com slash what author name you can mention the author name user here author user name here so this is the user name that we have let's say if i am going to write it down this author username here from here to here it means every time i am going to change here and here again so it's better we can define on some of the variable and then we can change the variable name only nothing else okay so author name that i am going to define here and then repo name whatever the repo name that we have so again repo name we can define out here so repo underscore name and what is our repo name so let me go to here and then I can just check it out under the my profile. So what is my repo name? Whatever the repo profile name that we have, we can put it on the same repo profile name. So this is the repo profile name that I have, YouTube underscore project template. So let me define this one. And this repo name, again, I'm going to define here. Because whenever our setup file want to fetch the data, it will go here, github.com, author name he will get. Let me click it out here. Same thing that we have, as you can see here, github.com, author name, and this project name. So if our project, our setup.py file want to find this file, then what? Github.com, they have, after that, username. So the same username that we have defined here, right? Same username, and then project name. As you can see, the project name that we have, it will come like this one. okay yeah now this one is completed so repo name that we have mentioned from here to here now url is completed now author name that we have here as you can see here in this package author name that we have missed author email so the same email whatever the email id that you have associated on your GitHub, the same email ID you can put it down. So, shivan848 at gmail.com. So, this is my email ID that I have associated on my GitHub. Now, author name is completed. Now, package. From where you want to fetch your package? So, I want to fetch package. Let me define the first. Packages. So, I want to fetch my packages from where? From this SRC file. So, I'm going to define this SRC repo here. SRC repo. Because we have already define these things src repo okay now license so any license that we have under this one under our github so let me check it out license no we did not have any license okay but if you want to add a license you can just go to here and then you can add a license okay now license we did not have and again as you can see here package that we have license is not a mandatory but if you have 
mention in your github license then you can mention it license as well okay now let's jump into next next part python requirement which python version that you are going to use so i am going to use a python version python requires python requires i want a uh, greater than something like 3.6 because 3.6 is a stable version that we have greater than equal to 3.6 greater than equal to 3.6 okay this is a stable version that we have so that's why i pick 3.6 now i want to install some of the library as well so install what requires so again it's better we can define our all the requirements somewhere so again i'm going to define the requirements here so list of capital always keep these things in capital list of what requirements and if you want to define the requirements here you can define here else you can define under the requirement of txt so right now i'm going to put it down this one is empty and this file we have a uh, completed our setup.py file okay so i have put it down here as well so now so this is whole our setup.py file that we have where we have mentioned for the repo name whatever the project repo name that we have author name whatever the author name that we have src repo name this is the src repo name that we have list of requirement you can mention here python or whatever you have a requirement but it's better you can put it down under the requirement.txt file or under your setup.txt file or oh, sorry requirement.txt or requirements underscore dev.txt file okay after that we have defined the setup as for this setup okay we have defined our setup file where we have mentioned name of the repo version whatever the version that we are going to release author name description long description always always mention these things on some of the variable so that no need to change again and again here and here okay so guys this is all about our setup.py file okay next video i'm going to show you a init dot init underscore setup dot sh and then we can continue our installation and environment creation okay but before this one let's try to push our data on github so for this one what you can do you can just write it down here git at git commit hyphen m and you can mention your data like setup.py file is completed git push origin main and then you can push your data okay so it will take few seconds to push your data now the data is pushed so let me check it out on github as well so as you can see here the first modification that you can see you will get the template file creation second modification setup.py okay setup.py because we have created a environment uh, like requirement.txt file and this is the setup.py file code that you have as you can see all those things okay so this is all about the setup.py file guys i hope this video you find a useful let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt in any topic okay let's see you in the next video thank you